In this video, we will review how to protect and maintain a database. To compact and repair a database, click the File tab, click Info if necessary, and then click on Compact and Repair Database. If you always want the database to compact each time it's closed, click on File, click Options, click Current Database on the left, and then choose the Compact on Close option. Click OK and then click OK again. To back up a database, click on File, Save As, Save Database As, choose Backup Database in the Advanced section, and then click the Save As button. And then browse for the location where you wish to save the backup. Edit the file name if necessary and then click Save. To split a database, click on Database Tools and then click on the Access Database button. I highly recommend that you back up your database before performing the split procedure. Click on Split Database and then choose a location for the back end database. The back end is simply going to house the tables and then they will be linked in to this database. Click on split and then it will export the tables to perform this procedure. Depending on the size of the database it may take a few moments. Click OK. Now you can see that we have linked tables and if you hover over the table it will give you a tool tip showing you where the back end database is. To encrypt a database with a password, you must first close it and then reopen it exclusively. So browse for the database, click on it, click the drop down arrow on open and then click on open exclusive. Now you can return to the file tab click Info if necessary, and then click on the Encrypt with Password button. Enter the password and then enter it again to verify it. Click OK. If you get the message, click OK again. Now the last two objectives in this section deal with merging databases and recovering data from a backup. These procedures, excuse me, these two objectives have similar procedures, so we will only go through at one time. Click the External Data tab. Click on Access in the Import and Link group. And for this particular example, we have a corrupt inventory table. So we need to find a backup of the database and import a good inventory table. Um, again, the same procedure would apply if you were trying to merge objects from another database. So click the Browse button and then locate your backup. Click on it and then click Open. We do want to leave the Import option selected because we do need to import a table for this example. After clicking OK, you will select the objects to import. Now for this particular example, I only need the inventory table, but you could click as many tabs as you need to with as many objects as you need. Okay, And if you need additional options, you can click on the Options button and set those. When you finish, click OK and if prompted save the import steps we don't need them for this example and then you will simply click close and you can see here that we now have an inventory table that is not corrupt and we would need to delete the old inventory table